What's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Some Shit We Like. Uh, I am sitting here alongside Rick, and I'm Bryce, and Mike uh, is not here with us this week. He was unable to join us. He sends his best wishes. Uh, anyways, um, if you uh, are new to this podcast, uh, then you might not know a few things that I'm going to go over, and if you've been listening to us for a while, then I've said these things over and over and over again, and you're tired of hearing them. But uh, we... Do this podcast live. Uh, we record it live on Twitch. If you uh, are able to catch us on social media, you'll know when we go live, usually sometime on Saturday, but just follow our social media and then you'll know for sure. If you miss us live, then you can listen to the full audio of this on Tuesday. And if you don't want to just listen to us, but that's the only place you can get the full show audio wise that early in the week is on Tuesday. Otherwise, you have to wait all the way to Friday if you want the full video form of this show if you missed us live on Twitch. And if full episodes are too much for you and you just want it in little bite-sized pieces or amounts, then we put up clips on Tuesday starting at noon, Wednesday, and Thursday. Usually there's two clips on Thursday. That's and that true. is my very long version of the opening this week. Because <laughs> it's been a while. It's, yeah. It's been a whole two weeks. Mm-hmm. whole fortnight. Two weeks for us, but we technically only missed an episode. That's always weird, I guess. Not weird, but... Yeah. Oh! Oh, look who's here. Cheesy has arrived. He's driving. Cool. I'm literally driving and listening to you guys right now. My ducks are hard, home. but he meant his dick. Oh, your duck. Okay. I don't know you had a duck. I said ducks, <laughs> but then he meant dick, but it'd be funny if the S, like maybe his dicks are hard. Maybe he's got two. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, we're back. Um, don't text and drive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We need to condone uh, good, safe driving behavior on this show. But yeah, uh, we're talking about cheesy. He's a regular on the chat. If you, you watch can be us a regular live, too. If you watch us live, you could chat and hang out with cheesy. Yeah. Isn't that some incentive? It should be. You know, yeah, I think so. I I would absolutely enjoy that. So how how are things going? God, what what did we even talk about the last time we did an episode? I don't remember. Dude, I don't remember either. Yeah. But it's a whole new slate. So we can so. talk about whatever we want. Yeah. So what have you been up to, sir? Um, Mr. Two Weeks Vacation. Two Weeks Vacation. Well, I was gone for four <laughs> days. Um, yeah. Well, for the people, two weeks. Yeah, I guess. For them. Well, it's two weeks in time, but they've only missed us for one week. Oh, that's true. That's you true. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, anyways, I haven't been up to a whole lot. I went up to Northern California. For a little bit and went on a sailboat and did some other things and that was pretty fun what have you been up so to? when you left yes. remember when you left it was raining hard it was did you left did you wait the rain out or did you went ahead and drove no in the we rain? just went and drove in the rain wow fucking crazy motherfucker well but like i mean it wasn't raining for us the whole time we eventually drove out of it oh so well, yeah that's true because yeah, it was mostly in la so mm-hmm so it wasn't too bad. But yeah, like, I always feel like when it rains really hard here, I'm always not around for it. Like, I left that true. day, so I saw some of the rain. There's been other times where I, like, just haven't yeah. been in California, and I'm just like, man, I always miss the rain. And I, I'm i always the loudest to complain. I was able to enjoy the rain because I'm not working right now. So, so you don't feel like you have to drive in it? Nope. Actually, yeah. I did drive in it, but I didn't drive far. You don't mind that? No. Yeah. But, like... If I had to drive to, like, Irvine for work, I would have called out. There's no way I would have done that. <laughs> Fuck that shit, man. It was raining fucking hard. I liked it, though. It was nice. Yeah. It was refreshing. Um, uh, Cheesy wants us to show a nipple. My, Mike is not here today. That's all I have to say about it. He's not here. Couldn't yeah. make it. Um. Yeah, but for the most part, as for me, like I said, I'm not working right now, so... So, it's kind yeah. of decompressing and enjoying the vacation life. Enjoying a sort of at home vacation. At home staycation. I, would, well, I wouldn't really call it a vacation because I am doing other things. But uh, but I'm happy. Yeah. I didn't have to drive in the rain. <laughs> I mean, it's mostly. I mean, I mean, you're not working, so that's good. You know, yeah. you get to do what mostly what you want to do. Anyways. Should we uh, hop into this, or do you have more to say? Do no. I cut you off? Do you want to tell the no. people more about your life? No, I'm good. All right. We're not that entertaining. Like, our lives aren't that entertaining right now, the past couple of weeks. So, nah. we'll just try to entertain you with other bullshit that we're going to talk about. So, 
more banter stuff. Have you even? I just came up to me yesterday when I was on Twitter. Yeah. Where people are talking about uh, their favorite movies of the year, and like, oh shit, we gotta make a fucking list for the end of the year. Yeah. Did you have you even thought about that? No. Nope. Nope. Uh, and I don't usually. You know what sucks? Like I once I saw that I'm like, oh, I gotta put my list together. All right. So I started putting my list together, and then I realized, like, shit. Like, I saw a lot of movies on Movie Pass, so my history in Movie Pass has all the movies That's that I've right seen. There. I couldn't log back in unless I reactivated my account. I was like, motherfucker! So I can't really remember all the movies I saw. You want to know what I do though? But I for mean, the most part, like, I already kind of know what what yeah. are on my top five. I just want to check to see if there's anything I might have missed and say, like, oh yeah, I've heard about that. Yeah, one. what I do. I mean, it's a little tedious, but this is what I do every time because. Uh, I either just don't stay in the habit of keeping a list of the movies that I've seen, or I just don't do it. And usually it's that I just don't do it. Um, so basically what I do is I go, I Google like every movie of 2018, like a list. I thought about doing that. And I go month by month because I don't remember most of the time. And so I'm like, oh yeah, I did see that. Oh yeah, that came out this year. And it's, it's not that hard because you're looking, if you're, especially if you're looking month by month, like you might be looking at like 15 movies in each month. It's easy to... To spot it because normally they break it up like that so it's not just one long 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 list they break mm-hmm. it up by the month um but that's what helps me and uh yeah i don't give it a whole lot of thought i mean it depends i guess it depends on what i've seen if i really am having a hard time positioning um <clears throat> with the positioning of where i want to put one two and three and stuff but um yeah i normally i normally am able to narrow it down pretty quickly like it's like okay here's all the movies that i've seen and then I could pretty quickly, like, I think I might then knock it down to 10. I get it down to five really, really fast. Like, maybe a, maybe I'll get it down to, like, a seven, and then I kind of, like, okay, which one am I really putting in there? But <laughs> I know, I guess I feel like a dick about it because I know sometimes how long it seems like. Well, you don't ever make it seem like you work on it that long, but I know Mike sometimes puts a lot of thought and gets stuck mm-hmm. in, in some stuff. And for me, sometimes I don't even put it together till that morning. But when, when I've done it, in the past, when we started this podcast, like I've make notes. I made a, I used to make a lot of notes, so I know I can go right away. I know what I want. Yeah. But like the last two years, I've been pretty lazy about it. Because I, I would keep a list in IMDb because you can put lists of like movies that you like or you know any kind of list you want. Right. And I used to do that because I thought like oh it makes it easier because all the info I need is there. Yeah. And uh, I haven't done that since I think 2016. Mm. So it's been kind of like trying to remember or looking at my fandango and my past history and whatnot yeah uh but for the most part like i think i kind of nailed it down i there are like three other movies i need to see that i know i need to see so you feel like you already have your list but i could probably yeah. possibly already have my list because so, yeah. i still gotta see beautiful boy boy raced and uh bad times at el royale and i know there might be like another one that i'm probably forgetting yeah well, that's why I like doing the whole thing, just looking at every, uh, everything that came out, because it just, then I don't have to think about, well, what did I see? Like, it'll, I'll speed it. I'm like, oh yeah, I saw that. I saw that. So yeah, that's how yeah, I that put helps it together. Too, too. It's, it's the easiest thing for me to do. Um, but yeah, do you ever like actually form your list without double checking what came out in a year? Like, do you sometimes just like, no, that's my five and it doesn't matter. Mm. I don't feel like I could do yeah. that because I, I know that I would be forgetting Well, well that's something. when I made lists. When I made list, I didn't have to do that. Okay. But, like, now I kind of have to do that because I haven't been keeping up with making a list. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. Uh, no, I haven't thought about it. So, um, so yeah. Uh, I just wanted to throw it out there because I thought maybe... I know that's, like, the last thing you would want to think about. <laughs> but I'm just not um, big on making lists. The, the movie... <laughs> something like what we do with the movie stuff is not that... Of a much of a pain in the ass for me because we're only dealing with one year, you know. Uh, I'm not having to make a list of my top favorite movies of all time in my life. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I see it. Just don't give it any attention. Um. Yeah. Uh. I'm excited for this year. This year had some really good <laughs> movies. I think I just read. Yeah, go ahead. This year has some good movies. Um, but as soon as yeah, as soon as I watch those three movies, I could fully say this is my list. And then video games, like that's another thing that I want to put together too. But I feel like I played more video games this year than I did last year. I think you probably have. I just don't know if you played five games though. Mm, yeah, I don't know if I played five either. 
I don't think I have. I mean, no. if we're counting just 2018, which is why we kind of were talking about last time when we did the show, making it where it's just like maybe games that are first time for you. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. There are some PlayStation PSN games that were free that I want to play too. Mm-hmm. I don't know if they would come out. Oh, they probably didn't come out this year though. No. no most no. likely most they didn't. Like, no. yeah. I don't know. We'll see. But, but I think, I think, with, I think with games, I think we're kind of at the level, I think Mike's kind of said something where we're just going to pick whatever we enjoyed for that year. That's what I just said. Yeah. You weren't listening to me. Yeah. Looks like, yeah, I wasn't. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I thought about bring it up. Yeah. But for now, uh, shall we get into trailers? As long as you're going to pay attention to your co-host. Of course, I'm paying attention. There, we don't have any actual, there wasn't any news stories. I don't have any news. I mean, like, most of the news that I had... Where like news that's already like four weeks old. But is it anything you're dying to talk about? Um, I don't. There's think... something I'm pissed about, which is them can't like Netflix canceling Daredevil. Talk about like, it. Like I'm pissed about that. Go. I mean, I just started watching. Uh, I think I'm on the third episode of Daredevil, and uh, the third season, uh-huh. and it's really good. It's really good. Yeah. And I'm pissed that they canceled it because like. Now I'm kind of like, do I even want to finish That's it? That's what happens to me all the time, too. Like, I mean, I'm going to finish it, but... But you lose but the I, drive. Yeah, my drive for it is lost. Yeah. And then uh, I'm almost also done with Jessica Jones. Jesus Christ. I know, I've dragged know. that one out for so long. And that's the only one left that hasn't been canceled yet. The Defenders are gone, Iron Fist is gone, Luke Cage is gone. Oh, no, Punisher. Punisher is still available, too, right now. Defenders? That they there, was gonna, there was going to be a... They got Defender season that? two and they canceled it. Oh, I didn't hear that. Yeah. So what's that? Jessica Jones, Punisher. Um, just Jessica Jones and Punisher are the only ones that are really in, okay. In warm water right now. Um, she just said that they're canceling it for Netflix, so it'll be revamped for the Disney streaming streaming service. Um, I actually heard that's not true. They have no interest in putting that on Disney streaming. Who said that? Uh, I saw it in an article, I think it was Hollywood Reporter, mm. um, by Butt Lord. <laughs> um, but yeah, I saw that in the Hollywood Reporter, that there, no, there was no interest for that. Huh. So but Yeah, I'm kind of pissed, because like, Charlie Cox is great as Daredevil, you know, and uh, I can't remember the name of the guy who does Luke Cage, but he's really good too. Same with Iron Fist. Iron Fist, like, I didn't... Re- Honestly, I didn't like that guy. The guy that's playing Iron Yeah, Fist. The, and the Defenders, like, I didn't like him at all. <laughs> I had no interest in Iron Fist. Yeah. At all. Um, I don't remember. I mean, I saw Defenders, but I didn't watch Iron Fist. I couldn't even tell you which one he was, so... I mean, I know, oh, like, I, the he's person. Just, he's, I wouldn't be able to pick him out of a yeah, lineup. He's the one with the Iron Fist. <laughs> yeah, that part I know. That's why I was clarifying. It's like, no, I mean, I would be able to figure out yeah. contextually who he is. I don't think I'd be able to pick him out, like, what he looks like. I think I think it was just not enough people were watching it, Cheesy. Um, they're, they don't share their analytics and their viewing habits, Netflix. <clears throat> but from what they said is that there was not enough people viewing it for it in order to give it another season. Although, I call bullshit on Daredevil because I think when Daredevil came out, it was, I think, like, their... They're one. They're like number one trending uh, show, along with like Orange is the New Black and um, I forget what the other show was. Um, just to, uh, I was looking into what you were saying, but this is kind of what in response to what Cheesy was was saying, and you were saying, oh, that's not going to happen. That this is what sources told Variety that the deal for the original four Marvel shows. Included a clause that prevents the characters from appearing in any non-Netflix series or film for at least two years after cancellation. Oh, so they have to wait two years before they can cancel. If anything, yeah. Mm. Um, And then, yeah, Daredevil, Luke Cage, and Iron Fist, I think, are the ones that were canceled. Yeah. So then, yeah, that and then so all that it's Jessica Jones, Punisher. That's it. That's it. There's only been only. There's only been five. (laughs) Yeah. All right. I don't know. I'm sorry, man. I never watched. It sucks. You told me to. I told I you to watch. Jordan I don't know Island. why I never did. It's still good, dude. It's still good. Yeah, like I'm it's, sure it's worth the. Sh- it's worth the watch. Yeah, I haven't. You know, I don't know why. I guess just not knowing anything about Daredevil, but I didn't know anything about Jessica Jones either. So. Um. That was the only story. 
Yeah, there was that. And then Cheesy brought up something too about uh, Netflix that they paid a hundred million to keep friends on Netflix. I saw that. That's fucking nuts, dude. That's <laughs> that crazy. <is> nuts. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they could have used that hundred million to fucking yeah. uh, bring back Everything Sucks, uh, another season of Daredevil, and. <laughs> Uh, Luke Cage and Defenders, like, think about it. Shit. Friends must really do well for them. I don't get it, though. Is that for the rights? For, I mean, that's not This for is the a streaming rights. Streaming rights. Yeah. So they have exclusive, exclusivity to that. Yeah. Right. I think the only other way they can stream it, you can stream it, I think, is on the NBC, because I think it was on NBC. Well, yeah, but then it's also on TBS all the time. But yeah, that too. Yeah. That's 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 on air. That's not true. No, I know, but it just seems like, damn, you're paying. Um, so I would disagree money. with you, though. I do like Friends a lot, Cheesy. I don't think it's stupid. Oh, it's absolutely stupid. Oh, the show's absolutely stupid and overpaid. Um, Say the show is stupid and overpaid. Oh. He doesn't like the show. I like the show. Uh, I like the show up until season four. After season four, man, I don't really care for it. I'm <clears throat> Cheesy, I don't want to say... That I'm with you. Like, I, I did watch Friends, but I was more of a Seinfeld guy. But I think after a while, I uh, I don't know what happened. I mean, I, I liked it for a bit, but I always liked Seinfeld better. It's still a show I couldn't get into. Hmm? It's still a show I didn't really get into. I think you could. You just have to give it a try. Um, yeah, they could have thrown that money, too, at Telltale Games, too, for their Stranger Things game. Um, he fucking loves Seinfeld, so... But yeah, that's that's also some news too. People do, yeah, yeah. I, was you know, my dad, I, was, I, I had breakfast with my dad, and my dad used to hate Seinfeld too, and then he watched it, and now he absolutely loves it. <laughs> I was like, all right. Like, I mean, I don't know how you could hate that. Show. I don't hate it. I just don't like it. I don't care for it. You need to watch more. <clears throat> I just think you go in and not wanting to give it a shot. I don't know what's not to like, but it's just yeah. whatever. Parks and Rec, Arrested Development, Frasier. Everybody hates Raymond. Um, yes, on both Parks and Rec and the rest of development. Frasier, I had no opinion on Frasier. I thought it was all right. Um, everybody hates Raymond. I didn't really care for that either. I actually hated Raymond. <laughs> Isn't it kind of everybody loves Raymond? Yeah, oh, you're right. Everybody loves Raymond. And then it was everybody hates Chris. The Chris yeah. Rock show. <clears throat> yeah. That um, was a good show. You know, it's funny. I've never, none of those shows that are listed, I have not watched. Like, I've seen some episodes of Frasier. I guess Arrested Development. I've watched. A I tried to watch, make yeah. you watch a few of that, which I think you like, but I guess you don't. Well, it's not. It's not that. <laughs> like I don't. I just. I don't. I watched the Netflix season though. I don't think I watched anything before, beforehand. Or did we? I think I tried to show you the first season. Okay. Yeah, maybe I don't remember. Yeah. But yeah, it's it's a good show. It doesn't have a laugh track. Which makes it like a show you're gonna have to not necessarily pay attention to, but like the jokes are subtle. Wait, which show? Arrested Development. Oh, okay. Um, it seems like the days of the laugh track are kind of I don't know. There's there's not that many just sitcoms anymore. You know. There are. I mean, this Big Bang Theory still has a laugh track. Yeah, but I mean, I know. I, that I feel they like exist. they're few and far between. Yeah, now. like I feel like that's just not the type of show that we that used to be. That was the thing that used to be. Everything. Yeah, that used to be the thing, yeah. And now I think Full about house, it. I, I, like step I, by step. Yeah, but I mean, is there any current day, like current day, current new episodes of a sitcom that you watch still? That has a laugh track? Oh, no, no, no. Well, forget the laugh. Just, yeah, okay, yeah, with a laugh track. Just that old style of sit, yeah. No, I can't either. think of one. And that used to be all we watched. Yeah. Saved by the Bell, like TJF, everything on TJF. Like that, but now I'm watching these like fucking like things like Hill House or Breaking Bad, like that, you know, like. Yeah. I think, I think TV kind of evolved to a more episodic, well, it's been that way, but more like uh, our drama than, yeah. or comedy even. Well, that, but I mean, I also just, I find myself not being as into or being able to focus on a, a, a an old style like laughing track sitcom because I just feel like it's not, it doesn't grab me. Like there, there's not. I feel like we're being told better stories on TV now, and so it's hard just yes. to get into like, oh, damn, Michelle lost her shoe. You know, like, <laughs> how can we find it? Um, yeah, New Girl, but that doesn't have a laugh track. Uh, the Goldbergs, I heard it's a good show, but I haven't watched it. I think The Goldbergs doesn't either. Yeah. Yeah. We're talking more like, 
You know, More like, with like a, the old set, like how shows always were, you know, like before, like with the laugh track, like the sitcom, yeah. Full House, Family Matters. I think uh, the last thing that we watched that had the laugh track was um, Girl Moves World. Moves to World. Yeah. Yeah. Um, home Improvement. It's home Improvement. Oh, yeah. then the, there is a current one that he's on right now too. What the hell is it called? Uh, last Man Standing. Last Man Standing. Yeah. I was, I was, I was watching regular television. Or flipping through regular TV because I was waiting for the Flash to come on the crossover event. <gasps> oh my god, so good! But anyways, um, <laughs> Home Improvement showed up. Uh-huh. I'm like, oh my god, this is so bad. Oh really? Like this is so bad. Like it would not hold up today. <laughs> it doesn't hold up at all. <laughs> no. Yeah. But that was like the majority of TV. But yeah, yeah. And now we have like these hour long dramas or whatever. Like, I don't uh-huh. know. It's um, changed very much, because I th- I think this is more the time where people mm-hmm. went and got their 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 stories from movies, like going to the theater, mm-hmm. and their TV was just kind of like the short little, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. And it got TV got more production value throughout the years. Um, yeah, I think it kind of started with like I can't stop eating these. <laughs> I feel like it kind of started like in the early '90s, even '80s, with like Twin Peaks and. Yeah, I mean that um, stuff existed. Like, I'm not saying it didn't, but I just feel like now it's almost. No, it just like, weighs heavier now. I yeah, think. it's taken over. Yeah, I just feel like that's more. I just think people want to watch stuff that they can sink their teeth into. Exactly. You know. So. Yeah. <laughs> Sidetrack conversation. I, mean, I love it. Whole show, yeah. <laughs> I love it. Um. I want to just talk about it real quick. The Go ahead. Elseworlds, Flash. I know you don't watch it, but holy shit, man! What it is was Elseworlds? so I good? Don't even know what that is? It's their annual like crossover event that oh. they have with Flash, Supergirl, Arrow, and uh, what happens is when Elseworlds is uh, they have like this book of destiny, which you can like rewrite history. Mm-hmm. So the guy rewrote him, rewrote history as Barry becomes uh, Oliver Queen, the Arrow. And Oliver Queen becomes Barry the Flash. So it's kind of like a quantum leap type of episode. Okay. Where they're in each other's bodies. Um, which they actually made a joke about quantum leap. <laughs> and like Freaky Friday. Like how they're trying to figure out the st- st- stupidity of it. Okay. <laughs> it, was just, it was just a stupid joke. But um, it was so good. It was done really well. And uh, this was also the first time we got... Uh, we go to Gotham City. So, no Batman, because Batman's been missing, but we get Batwoman, okay. who's plays by, being played by uh, Ruby Rose. Oh, yeah, yeah. And she fucking kicks ass on this show, man. Really? What brought you back? Like, I feel like you just kind of, not that you time. were, just the time. <laughs> just the time. Because, like, I, I didn't think you were done with those shows. I just knew you went from, like, you know... You had you got I, these lights and you had like it all set up when eight o'clock comes on flash colors and that's gonna remind me that the flash is on. It was like an event for you, and then yeah. you kind of fell off and got behind, and now you're caught up and talking about it and excited about it again. Yeah, it, it's good to feel feel excited about these shows too. Um, again, uh, and the way the way like it ended, like oh my god. They're going to do something that I never thought I was going to see on television or even in a movie. Really? And they're doing Crisis on Infinite Earths next year. Which okay. I know you have no clue what that yeah. means. My mind's blown. <laughs> but it's like one of the biggest crossover events in like DC history. Really? Where worlds collide and like, I don't know, it's, it's hard to explain. But it's, it's, it's amazing. Like I, everyone, every, like I'm in this uh, Facebook group. Uh-huh. And everyone was shocked when they saw Crisis on Infinite Earths. Really? It, was, it was amazing, yeah. Because it's such a big event. There's so many different characters that we haven't even seen yet on any of these shows. And this is going to be on what what show? It's just, it's just a normal crossover event. So it's going to cross over Flash, Flash okay. Arrow. I think I think this might be a four-parter, though, with uh, Legends of Tomorrow. Because that's the only way it would make sense. Cheesy uh, said to us while we were talking, he hopes one day we get super heavily into anime. Uh, I feel like I could get into anime, honestly. Like, it was after going to Japan, and, like, it's all around me and stuff, and just, I think a lot of it looks cool. And, uh, yeah, I, I think I could. I have a lot. Uh, I try to watch it with subtitles. Um, 
instead of dubs just because I'd rather like hear the language, you know, and try to learn it more. But yeah, maybe one day. I don't know how you feel about anime. That was just something I could not get into. I know a friend of mine, Michael, he, he loves anime. And like he showed me like Ghost in the Shell, Cowboy Bebop, Gundam, and like there was one he wanted me to watch way back in the day that was similar to like Firefly. I forgot what it was. I think it was like Outlaw Star or something like that. I could be wrong. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, but yeah, I think the closest thing currently was probably Pokemon when I would watch yeah. X and Y with the Japanese version. I think the thing though, like I mean. You're saying you can't get into anime. <clears throat> Maybe that's true, but I feel like there's so many. Like, I feel like there would have to be one. That's another there. reason, too. That's there's just... You. I don't even know where to start. But that's what I mean. Like, maybe you could, you'd find something, like a genre that you're into. Like, they're, the ones that I've kind of gotten into have been comedies. And so I've kind of liked the funny the funny animes. Um, so, yeah, I think there's something out there for everyone. And then when you are talking about the Flash stuff, he said Omniverse. I don't know if that rings a bell. Like Omniverse? Just because you were talking about the world colliding about, and stuff. Well, Omniverse, isn't that a publishing company? I could be wrong, though. Fooly Cooly is perfect for me. Ah, an anime um, I thought about watching The Last Airbender. Kind of like just to like... Like, I don't know if that's really considered anime or not. I don't know. Because I think that's kind of like American anime, I want to say. Because I, 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 I don't know. I could, I'm, told, I'm talking out of my ass. I don't know. But, like, I've heard, I've listened to podcasts where they keep talking about Last Airbender and make, they make it sound really cool. Mm. Um, oh, Western Anime. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, Worlds Colliding. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll have to, like, find something that I like in order to watch anime. I'm sure there's something out there. But, anyways, okay. How'd we get all we were talking about the Daredevil? <laughs> yeah. And all that stuff. So I think we go ahead and jump into some trailers. Right. Um, I've been eating this whole show. I apologize. <laughs> yeah. Good. All right. So the first trailer we're going to watch is uh, Captain Marvel. I know it's been out for a while, but uh, I only watched it once. So let's do this. Now we're going to watch it with you. So Again. Here we go. It's actually good for me when I saw it, I wasn't so paying attention. So, scrolls are the bad guys. And you're a Kree. A race of noble warriors. Heroes. Noble warrior heroes. began the day it nearly ended we found you with no memory we made you one of us so you could live longer stronger superior you were reborn i keep having these memories something in my past is the key to all of this You know how to fly this thing? We'll see. That's a yes or no question. Yes. Would you like to know what you really are? I think I had a life here. What are you telling me? You've come a long way. But you're not as strong as you think. This war is just the beginning. I'm not gonna fight your war. I'm gonna end it. Aren't you cute? And 
The other trailers for that so far have pretty much been like teasers, right? Like that's the most we've this is, seen. Yeah, this is a full trailer. Okay. Um, what's your opinion? Because I know you kind of like with Thor, you don't really know nothing about. Well, when you first saw Thor, you didn't really know much about it. Yeah, well, I feel like this feels different for me because I feel like this is a this is a vital movie that I need to see before Avengers. You know, um, so I like. I don't think it's something that I'd just be like, oh, well, I don't know. I don't really care. Like, so it's something I'm going to see for sure. I have to. Right. I, don't, I don't really have, I don't have many thoughts on it. Like, I think, like, if I'm going to be honest with you, the trailer doesn't excite me too much. That, that's not to say that I think the trailer is bad, but I just kind of don't really know what I'm watching, you know? Yeah. Um, but I like Brie Larson. Um, and obviously I want to see how this plays into Avengers and stuff. So like, I, I think I have more, I'm more in the state of mind where I just think that it's probably just going to be good. I, I think the movie's going to be good. It doesn't matter if I think the trailer is good or bad. I have faith that I think the movie is right. good. So, yeah. How do you feel? Uh, first trailer, I liked it a lot. This trailer, I like even more. Um, I think it looks awesome. I like that we got more Captain Marvel than Fury. Because I feel like the first trailer, they really I had a lot of Fury. That. Yeah. And it's like, this is Captain Marvel's movie. It looks awesome. I think Brie Larson was the best choice. Um, the Asian effect. The Asian effects on this looks amazing, man. Like, that looks like young... You know, Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah. It's crazy how they do that. <laughs> it's so it's funny. crazy. At first, I thought you were saying the Asian effect. I'm like, wait, who are they aging, aging. out? But you said aging. I knew that. Age, you said. Aging. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty nuts. Um, yeah, they've done it before. Uh, they did it in Civil War, I believe. with uh, Or was it Age of Ultron? Um, I don't remember. With uh, Robert Downey Jr. When, uh, yeah. When he was... Uh, age for that whole like his he looked like he was in the 80s right. um so it's crazy that they're gonna do this whole thing with that uh, i'm impressed with the trailer i, I want to see more what do you know about captain marvel like not much okay because like i've heard some people say this and i guess i can kind of see it but it doesn't seem like she brie larson isn't showing much like personality in the trailer like she seems kind of stiff and I just don't know if that's how Captain Marvel is supposed to act. You kind of get what I'm saying? like. Right, right. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I know she's like an air fighter jet. Yeah. You know? Like, I don't know if she's like super serious. So, like, she has that soldier mentality as far as I know. I mean, I don't know. And then plus, like, she's in the, uh, what is it, the Nova Corps, I'm going to say, that they're called. Mm. So, yeah, I'm not, I'm, so not re- I'm not really sure. Yeah. I'm not really sure. So but, yeah, I've heard that, too, where people were talking about that. and Yeah. I was like, well, I'll just wait for the fucking movie. Well, again, it's not a complaint. <laughs> I just, yeah, I just don't know. Like, I don't right. know if that's how she's supposed to be. I mean, at the same time, I don't know that I want every superhero in this universe to always be like every other line is, hey, I'm really funny. You know yeah. what I mean? So. Which I felt Thor was in Ragnarok. Yeah, but that felt, I don't know. I, I, I see what you mean, but I felt like that was just, that. I think that movie was It was perfect. fine. It was fine. I mean, I don't know. But I, to me, the worst offender... The worst offender where I was just like, this is just bad. It was Avengers 2, I think is what it was. Like, it's just yeah. like that movie, every other thing was like, huh, quotable line. Yeah. So that one to me is still the worst. Ragnarok didn't bother me at all. Yeah, Age of Ultron had execs meddling with it. So, yeah, I blame them. That was, yeah, Age of Ultron is yeah. the second one. Okay. I forget all the subtitles. <laughs> all right. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. On board for sure, yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited. All right. Uh, next trailer is speaking. Stay on the Marvel train. Uh, Avengers four. We got the official trailer, and it's called Endgame. So let's watch that trailer now. Which, by the way, is also the most viewed trailer on YouTube. Is it? Yeah. Like ever. Yep. Oh, in twenty four hours. Okay. Oops. I think it's a slow... No, no, it's not. It's just what it's like. Stay on. Hey, response. 
you find this recording, don't feel bad about this. Part of the journey is the end. Just for the record, being adrift in space with zero promise of rescue is more fun than it sounds. Food and water ran out four days ago. Oxygen will run out tomorrow morning. I be mean, it. When I drift off, I will dream about you. It's always you. I feel like the way Endgame is written, like, feels like Star Wars or something. The way that it looked. Oh, the way, like, the letters came together and everything? Well, and just or... the look of it, too. Like, just, I don't know. Something about it makes me think about, like, Star Wars. But I don't know why. Holy shit, man. Holy shit. <clears throat> uh, wow. What do you think? I, I mean... Like I said, I don't know if it's going to have the same impact because, you know, like, I don't know everything, but I mean, it looks good. That's yeah. the only trailer I'm going to watch. Yeah, same. I don't think I'm going to watch anything else. So let me ask you this, though. Go ahead. Well, I, just, I don't think I'm going to watch anything else because like, that was just a really, really good trailer. Well, that... And, like, the imagery of it with, like, every, I don't know, everything... The, the, that was a really good trailer. <laughs> well, because that movie comes out in May, right? April. Comes out in April. Yeah. Okay. So even closer. Movie comes out in April. Um, a lot of people are wondering when this trailer was going to come, right? Like, took a no. while, and now this is pretty close to the actual release date for this trailer. Like for us, like the first trailer we've ever seen. Uh huh. Don't you feel like it's kind of fairly close to the date? oh to the actual release yeah, date? Like I yeah, yeah, I do feel that. So way. do you feel like they're doing that on purpose? Yes. Because. They can't... What else can they show in a trailer? Like, if they show too much, then they're going to totally be spoiling stuff. Exactly. This is, like, the most anticipated movie for next year, easily. Um, so they're not going to want to throw all their cards on the table. Yeah. You know? Wait, is it next year in episode nine year? Episode nine? Yeah. Well, yeah. Won't we get a Star Wars yeah, next year? Yeah, we will. Just saying. No, I'm just... You know, most anticipated movie. I get it. This has more... Well, for Marvel fans, fans, I'll put No, I know, but, but still... <laughs> I know there's probably some people that are down on Star Wars, so this is yeah. probably right. Um, I mean, especially with how it had, you know, the first, the last one ended. So, mm-hmm. that's kind of my point. Like, they, they, they can't. I, I was wondering if they waited this long to show a trailer because they know they're not going to be able to show much. Yeah. And I'm even wondering if this will be the only trailer we get. I doubt it. I feel like my answer to that. I think we'll probably get no. like one more. But they're they're gonna. It's just gonna have to do something again where they literally show nothing because. I, I mean, feel it, like they don't need to cut promos for it either because right. now they're gonna get the small promos on. Well, that television. was it, and that was it. There's that one. I mean, that that's enough. That was two. You somehow in two minutes and twelve seconds you didn't. You showed us something without telling us anything. You know what I mean? Which yeah. that's what they have to do with, especially this because of the cliffhanger. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
of course you could argue with any movie you don't want the spoiler to the trailer to spoil too much but with this movie you have to be real careful with it because yeah yeah like there's been a lot of leaked set photos set photos too that uh started people started you know coming up with their own theories because a lot of them had like different their old costumes on so there were a lot of people talking about time travel and a bunch of other stuff and plus yeah. I don't know. I was like, I don't really want to get too into it just because I want it to be more of a surprise than well, yeah. trying to guess everything. So, but yeah, for them having this trailer so close to their release date, I think is like definitely on purpose. Yeah, yeah, I think it's on purpose, and it just it makes me wonder if there will even be another significant trailer. I'm sure there'll be something else, but maybe it'll be that one cut in a different way, or maybe it'll just be something that was just made for a trailer. You know, how sometimes they do that. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah. I'm not going to watch any other ones. Yeah, same. But I'm excited for it. Like, nobody's business. I know. I, I, <laughs> like, that's like the second... I mean, Captain Marvel, you were kind of sitting next to me all giddy too, but now this also. Yeah. They could very much see Captain Marvel in this trailer. Mm-mm. And you know, she, and she's definitely going to play a part in it. Yeah. So, they probably... I saw Hawkeye as Ronin, which I've never read the Ronin comic books. It's basically Hawkeye's evolution. Uh-huh. Um... But, uh, I mean, from what I've heard, like, that sounds like a really badass character. You know, he went, I think it was like he went to, like, Japan or something like that for a little while to train and, like, learn all kinds of shit. Mm. So, I'm excited to see, see, uh, um, Jeremy Renner back. Yeah, it should be cool. I mean, yeah, the trailer, like, look, the trailer's exciting to me. I just didn't know if maybe there's some little visual things in there where you being more of a Marvel fan than I am could be like, oh, oh, man, I can't believe they showed us that. But otherwise... Well, they did show, like, you know how he had all his gear hung up? Yeah. Like a scarecrow? Like, that's actually from the comic book. Oh, okay. Um, uh, yeah, straight out of a page of the uh, comic. Mm-hmm. And then the whole, like, like him touching the... The leaves or the grass, like that's totally from Gladiator. <laughs> I don't yeah. know if you remember that movie Gladiator with Russell Crowe. I never saw it. Oh. I know it, but I never saw it. No. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited for that mo- movie. Um, I mean, duh. <laughs> like, yeah, what else were you to say? Yeah. <laughs> um, and cheesy as 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 well too. Um, some some stuff cheesy, but we'll get to it. Um. But first, we got one last trailer mm-hmm. that's going to come into a review yeah. for season one. And that trailer is uh, Sabrina. The this Chilling for... Adventures of Sabrina for part two of yeah, this for part season. Two. Some people are wondering like, if, by, if they're just going to refer to their seasons as parts or if this really is like the second half of a season one. Hmm. I guess we'll find out. Just because it is interesting how quickly it's coming out, too. Which yeah. is awesome. I'm not complaining at all. So, here yeah. we go. Headphones? Mm. <laughs> I'm like, no, it's just going to go right into my brain. Duh. All right. And since when do you wear black? I'm trying to be edgy. It's a new year. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That was a perfect song, by the way, yeah. for this. Yeah. Um, so hold on real quick before we like totally dive into it. Um, I remember you had finished uh, the season or part one or whatever before I have, and then you, you sent me a link to this, and I'm like, I still have one episode left. I'm like, ah, I don't want to watch it yet. Um, let me finish just in case anything spoils, if there's anything spoiler in there. And, and you said, uh, like, I don't think so. Like, there's dancing or whatever, and she's trying to close and, and music or whatever. And it's a small detail, but I'm glad. Yeah. yeah. I'm glad I, I, I didn't. That I forgot. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad I didn't watch it because I probably would have, like, oh, her hair color is different. But, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm glad I waited. But, man, I, I 
enjoyed the fuck out of part one or season one of this show. You and I have been excited about it since all we knew was Dark Sabrina, and that's it. That was the only detail we knew. (laughs) And then we got more details and watched all the trailers and stuff on here. And yeah, I didn't want it to end. Um, I I loved having, like, we had 10, I think 10, like 10 hour episodes, and I'm just like, I I just didn't want it to end. Uh, So I really enjoyed it, and I'm happy with it. And I'll we'll start. Yeah, this this trailer uh, is great. The music choice was perfect. Um, I like how she was doing the classic Sabrina turning around and changing mm-hmm. clothes like from the 90s version. Um, I feel like uh, I loved uh, like shit's going to go down some way or another mm-hmm. just because like they have the, like like the demon behind her and oh god there's just so much details in this trailer like it has no, me yeah, so ex- yeah. Huh? I said, yeah, you're right. I didn't think about, like, there is a ton of details. Like yeah. That, small details. That uh, gives you just enough to want to know what's going to, what the hell's going to happen this next season, especially with what happened after. Yeah. With her signing the spoiler alerts. Yeah, I guess we're going to spoilers. <laughs> so so uh, I'll put a time code, but we're going to start spoilers uh, now for uh, season one. For season one. But overall, the trailer looks good. I yeah, mean, yeah. I feel like you kind of have to, like, walk, finish. I think you're kind of right. You kind of have to finish the series before you watch this trailer. Oh, I mean, of course. Yeah. But <laughs> other people do that. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and throw spoilers up. So if you haven't watched it, um, we will put a time code or I'll put a time code right here so you can jump to there if you haven't yeah. haven't watched it yet. So here we go in three, two, one. Spoilers. Did you enjoy it? <laughs> well, I kind of, I, I think you missed it, but like, I think I kind of already went into that a little bit. Cause like I, I was taught when I was saying like, Oh man, I love the show from start to finish. That yeah. was me reviewing. Pretty, yeah. I kind of figured. Yeah. yeah. But you kind of, now you can go more. But yeah, no. Details. Yeah. I thought it was like I said, like I already said, I mean, uh, we were anticipating the show and I wasn't, I wasn't let down. And, uh, yeah, like I, I I'm one of those people that I, I try not to overdo it, but when I have a good show like this, I'm like, oh, and I can just watch all of them. Like, I get into it and I want to watch it. Uh, But then I also hate when it nears its end because then I'm just like, oh, fuck, you know, because it's so it's so exciting to have like a brand new when there's like, especially with the Netflix model, when there's something that you're excited about or you find on there and there's just a really cool feeling of like, dang, okay, I've got this show that I'm really into. I watched the first episode and I've got nine more hour long episodes after that, you know, like it. It's kind of a cool, cool feeling. But yeah, I didn't want the show to end. I thought it was really good. Um, I remember turning it on. I was watching it on my PS4. Um, uh, I Sometimes I cast, but I was using my PS4. So I went on there and went to the episode, uh, or went to the show and went to the listing of episodes. And that's when I saw uh, new episodes, December 14th. I'm like, new episodes, December 14th. And that's when I found out about the Christmas episode. Uh, so I got excited about that. I'm like, okay, cool. Well, even though it's almost over and I'm sad about that in a couple of weeks, I'm gonna get, we're going to get another new episode that, you know, will hold us over until it comes back in April. So I really enjoyed the show a lot, man. It was good. It, for me, it was everything. It's everything that I uh, was hoping for uh, and more. So what are your overall thoughts? I pretty much say the same thing, man. It was everything I wanted in a show. It was, it was, uh, just perfect, mm-hmm. like literally. Like I thought the show was perfect. Yeah. Um. It just has so much, like, heart in this show. Like you can tell they love making this. Like yeah. you can just tell they love doing this show. And um, like I kind of watch her Instagram too. The I can never. How do you say her first name? Oh, her. I I guess it's I like, can't say. What it. is it? It's like Kiernan Shipka or something, something like that. Yeah. Like, well, I've I've I it's watched like her Kiernan in Shipka. I watched her Instagram and like there's just pictures and like behind the scenes of like everyone having just like a blast on that show and yeah. like watching the show. The writing is incredible on it. Um, the acting isn't like the way it looks is like so. So good. It, it it feels, and well, it's shot like a movie, yeah. and in a, in a a movie television show, and it just brings me back to. And I know I mentioned this a lot, but it brings me back to the Buffy days, you know. And it that's like the biggest compliment I can give it. 
you know? Because it's dark, it has the fucking magic, crazy dark magic in there, and, mm. and it also has its wittiness to it, too. And you can probably get away with more since Buffy was never yeah, it does. on yeah. Netflix, so yeah. Yeah. Um, that's the other thing that's cool about the show, is you're watching the show, and like, I feel like someone could walk in on the show at a certain point and think that you're watching, like, oh, what is this, like, what is this, like, teen show or something, you know what I mean? But then... If they stay a little bit longer, all of a sudden you see someone's like head explode or like the go- like the gore. I'm just yeah. saying like the gore kind of comes like oh shit like, you know like that's what's kind of cool about the show. Like on one hand, it's kind of like this sort of high school. You know, you're following all these kids in high school and stuff, and there's a love story involved, and then there's, yeah, there's... all the other stuff, all the other elements to it. Um, but the show kind of just has a little bit of everything, and it's it's cool to be watching this stuff. It's cool to be able to watch to watch a show like this. You know, and get to see a lot of that gore, a lot of the crazy stuff that could happen with witches. Whereas the Sabrina with uh, Melissa Joan Hart, you know, that was it's more that's like more like a coming of age adolescence comedy yeah. sort of thing, and like it was more of a happy witch. Yeah, that show, was a sitcom yeah. technically. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. Um, yeah, and the gore and like the scariness of it, like they don't use it. I mean, they they use it, but I feel like with the, like the, the more like haunting and gory parts and the scares are very much like uh, not to say that they're not, but they're like earned in such a great way that you kind of I want to say you forget. I don't, I don't know how to how to say it. Like I'm I'm trying to give it like the best compliment I can. You know, <laughs> it's basically what I'm trying to do. Yeah, and uh, I just. Like, they know when to throw it, you know? Yeah. And, and like, a lot of TV shows miss that and a lot, or just overdo it. And they just have this, like, fine-tuned show where they know when to throw it at you. Mm-hmm. Um, and things that you don't expect, like when they killed... Uh, I forgot her name. One of the... One of the witches. Evil, yeah, 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 one of the evil witches. And, like, like, I didn't expect that from Sabrina at all. <laughs> When I saw it, I was like, holy fuck. And, yeah. and that's <laughs> like, one of those, what the fuck? Right, and that's one of those moments too where you're just like, oh dang, like this this is a this is a show that's on Netflix that can get yeah. away with more. This isn't the Sabrina that we used to watch at all. Yeah, and then like you didn't expect it, but no, they she had her plan. So it was like it was like these very good, earnest moments that are just done so well. Yeah. And yeah, it's I like the I like the kid who plays uh, Harvey. Mm-hmm. I think he does a really good job um, at, like, him and his brother and, like, the dad, like, kind of, like, the whole household thing that yeah. they have going on right now. Like, I thought that was, re- that's really well done. Um, and, like, especially after seeing, like, Sabrina coming out to... Harvey in the like was it like the first or second episode I want to say, mm-hmm. and then him kind of like rejecting it, and then like she eventually is you know now comes to the end where she eventually has to tell him what's going on with her. Yeah. But so I kind of like that whole circle that they went with that. Um, I like her friends like they were actually supportive about her. I thought they were gonna turn on her. Um, they, they but did that, a good but job that, of making yeah. me wonder, but you yeah, know that wouldn't be the case. Yeah. So like. They know how to play their cards right in the show. Like, their storytelling is good. Um, I do have a question, but go on. Okay, well, I was just going to say, like, I just think it's... They did such a good job. Like, they did su- world building in this show. Like, they did such a good job. Like, I just love the whole vibe of the show. Even when there isn't something creepy happening, you still... You know you're in this world that is just different from other yeah. things that we're watching on TV right now. Um, and I think they did a really good job, like... All the other, all the other side characters are really good too. Like they and they, they feel important. You know, they could have very much just made this show about Sabrina, which it is. But I think they did a good job of making you care about all the other side characters too. And I think they, mm-hmm. they're just, they're all so like they're all so well casted and so well done. Um, I couldn't be happier with the ants. Uh, Zelda and what's the other aunt's name? I'm blanking. Hilda. And mm-hmm. Hilda. Uh, which is the one from Shaun of the Dead? Is uh, it Hilda or Zelda? I think it's Hilda. I think it's Hilda too. Is it? Uh, anyways, she's 
phenomenal. Like, I oh, mean, she's the best. Yeah, they're they're both great. But I she loved is her in so the last good. episode. She was yeah. so good. Oh yeah. Um, uh, they they've just the ants are are, are done perfectly. And there she is. Which is she? She's Hilda. Yeah, she's Hilda. Right. Yeah. yeah, Hilda. Um, and I'm not taking anything away from Zelda either. She's fantastic too. Uh, if anything, yeah, she's great. Uh, yeah, like you, you, the show comes around, but I remember the first few episodes. I'm like, man, she's a fucking bitch. You know what I mean? Because she, yeah, she, she was, you know. But then you kind of see that that's just sort of how she is, and you her exterior. Yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, man, just all the the world and all the side characters, all the friends. Uh, the the guy that lives with her is that supposed to be her cousin? I forget her cousin, yeah, uh, Ambrose. Yeah, Ambrose. I think Ambrose is so good. Like, it's it's awesome. Yeah, I really like his character. He's funny. Yeah. You yeah. want to hear something? So I have kind of a funny story about this, and this happened with with that uh, with both Annie and I. Very first episode. Um, so where is she? Hold on. Scroll. Blah blah blah. Go down. I'm trying to look up a character's name. Uh, Agatha, Susie, Miss Wardwell. Oh. Okay, uh, so Miss Wardwell, you, you know they run into her at the movie theater in the very yeah, first yeah. episode. And okay, so we're watching that, and I'm watching that episode, and I kept saying to Annie throughout the series, I'm like, how come they never went back to like that teacher that died in the first episode? I'm like, what, like what the heck? Like this teacher died. And no one's acknowledged it. No one said anything. And so we finished the, the season and I look it up. I'm like, I want to see if anyone else says anything about that. And then I, I realize I'm like, oh, fuck. Like, no one questioned it because that's Miss Wardwell, yeah. right? So I'm like, wait a minute, though. Like, she doesn't look like that same teacher. And so I go to episode one and they have the actress that plays Miss Wardwell, like, dressed and talking and acting so different yeah. that that's why I thought that was a totally different person. Now, if I did have a complaint, I would say, how did... She did too good of a job. <laughs> well, no, well, that, but I would say, like, how did the students and Sabrina not question how different she seemed, like, back at school? Like, because she definitely, the way that she I is throughout they, the series... I think they did. Did they? I just don't remember. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think like someone said, like, oh, you got a new look going for you or something like that, I want to okay. say. I well, could maybe, be wrong. Maybe, but... maybe they did, but like I said, this is also coming from a guy who went through the whole season and be like, so they killed off a teacher in episode <laughs> one and never revisited that? <laughs> wow, you didn't... I, I'm surprised. But can you see my point I see your bit? point. Like, but I just thought it was, she was done really well, too, because like I thought, like, wow, she looks different. Yeah, I just didn't even... Like, it just didn't even hit me. Because she really... If you go back and watch that first episode and you see her her voice is different everything's different no yeah i thought that too when i first watched it you know and then like when they did the switch i'm like oh shit yeah that's I, I noticed it i just i don't know why it didn't strike me i'm just like yeah yeah i just that's i had funny. no clue and then i looked up like oh i'm like okay that makes sense because i'm just like this is such a big flaw in the show they just kill the teacher randomly and never hmm. but yeah well they also the kept person. calling her by the last name too yeah but i guess i just didn't catch i didn't catch the name Oh. Like, it just didn't hit me. So, yeah, just, that's my dumb, dumb moment. <laughs> uh, you had a question. Um, yeah, so then... Uh, I've heard podcasts talk about this, you know, and they said... One of them said that there was a character from Riverdale on the show. I haven't seen a character from Riverdale on the show. It was just mentioned. Because I, 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 I know, I think it... I don't know who it was, but someone did mention Riverdale. Yeah, they mentioned they mentioned. But they, there was no character, was there? No. Okay. N not anyone... No. And I, I would definitely... Like, I figured you would point it yeah, out. Yeah, I would definitely would have recognized... The, but as far as I know, I mean, someone can tell me if I'm wrong. As far as I know, there's definitely not. Yeah. Because I'm up on that show still, too. So... So... Yeah, I, I've... Yeah, they mentioned Riverdale, but... Uh, but yeah, I don't like. I don't watch it, so I, I, that's yeah. why I wanted to ask you. Yeah, um, you started, didn't you start? I just watched some of the first the season. Yeah. yeah. Um, you liked it though. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, was, it was good. It's different, I think, even from that first season. Like it, it just it, it's in it's turned into a different show. Yeah, but in a good way. Not that what it was before was bad, but yeah like there's like some supernatural shit happening on that show right now too which is kind of funny which kind of makes sense because they're going to cross it over i mean no one knows that for sure but people wonder if they if they would um so yeah uh that's the answer to the question but yeah man i i i love sabrina um 
I hope the show. <laughs> yeah, I hope they keep doing it this way in parts. Yeah, so if that means we can get more. Yeah. Then I, I want them to continue doing this. Yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe this is just part one of season one, and then we're going to get part two, or it's season two. I don't know. And they're just gonna they're just taking creative license, being like, oh, we don't. This is part one, part two, part three. Like, uh, either way, though, the, what I'm oh, we didn't even get in, get into this. I was so I'm like, no, don't sign the book, and then she signed the book or whatever. Yeah. But man, I'm so excited to see this dark side of her though, like the the color change in her hair, and just I got really excited to see like what that's gonna be like yeah same here yeah i think that hair looks great on her by the way mm-hmm. right, it's just gonna be cool to see like this darker side of her yeah um uh, i wonder how dark she's gonna play this out to be yeah i don't know because that's that's my question is i wonder how how much she's gonna how, how, how bad she's going to be in this yeah. new season. Yeah, I'm curious. And then, I don't know, do they, are the rules different? Do the same rules apply? Because, like, wasn't the, wasn't the, uh, Sabrina. Sabrina. The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. And welcome, Bolo. Yeah. Hello. Um, was it before, like, if she signed the book, she wasn't going to be able to see her friends or whatever? Yeah, she was, she was only supposed to, uh, she had had to go to her the school, that, the magic school. Right. But I mean... What do you think it means? Now she's signed the book, so what does that mean with her? I don't think it's going to apply to her. Yeah. She's going to go back and forth. Yeah, I think it's going to be different. Okay. Because you can't just, like, not see those characters. No, I Unless unless, unless she goes there and then sees the characters outside of school. Yeah, I just want to see how they explain it, so. Yeah. Um, Great season overall. Are we done? Spoilers? Okay. I can turn this off. Uh, Yeah, done with the spoilers, but yeah. um, Chilling Adventures of Sabrina is pretty cool. So. Yeah, it's, it's a great show, and I highly recommend it, especially if you like witchcraft and devil shit. Yeah. <laughs> Hail Satan. Um, <laughs> yeah, so that's our review for that. Yeah. And uh, go watch it if you haven't already. And the Midnight Winter Solace? I forget Solace. what it's called. I, I don't know. It's called. But that's that's out right now. now. That's yeah. available Thursday right now. Midnight. You didn't watch it, did you? Uh, no, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't end up watching okay. it. So. Yeah. I watched uh, I watched something else. I don't remember what I watched. What I, what is Bolo? It definitely doesn't apply to her. She doesn't care for it, so it doesn't matter. What did we say? I don't remember. Mm. Anyways, yeah, I don't I don't know what you're commenting on. Bolo, refresh my memory. Yeah. Uh, all right, so we we uh, have a trailer or not a trailer, a review for the Clovefish Killer. Right? Yeah. Is that what we're doing next? We watched the trailer. That's why I said that. We watched the trailer on this show a few weeks ago. About two Maybe weeks, a month two or three ago, weeks a couple ago. weeks ago, and uh, you brought. I don't, yeah, I don't table. know. What, yeah, like, but we all watched it for the first time on the show. I don't remember what drew me to it. Maybe I just saw Dylan McDermott and a mystery sort of thing, and I'm like, oh, yeah, that's cool. Why. It might have been a week that we were kind of light on content too. Um, but yeah, we all were happy with the trailer when we watched it, and Rick and I have now seen the movie. And what did What did you think? Wow, so the trailer looked good. You know, I think we all agreed on that. Yeah. And the mystery looked intense. And, like, even I thought after watching the trailer, I'm like, well, we kind of already know what's going to happen, sort of ish, by watching the trailer alone. But, like, I don't know, maybe I might throw something out different. Uh, but yeah, I watched it. It was really so much better than I thought it was going to be. Mm-hmm. So much better than I thought it was going to be. Like, the mystery of this, like, has you. On the edge for me, at least for me, yeah. like the suspense in there and certain moments of this mo- of this movie are incredible. Yeah, like like you're just waiting for something that to, like someone to get caught or something to happen, and it's it's good. The mystery is done very well, and the way they like they justify the thirty year gap is also great too. Mm-hmm. You know, it's it was a good movie, man. Like, I probably would... I actually would probably watch it again. Because I want to see the little details yeah. that I missed before. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I really liked the movie a lot. I thought it was good. Um, I guess I'll say better than I thought it was going to be, too. And like, not that I didn't think it was going to be good. I just didn't really right. know what to think. Like, it was just, you know. Uh, but yeah, we watched the trailer, and we all seemed intrigued by it. And yeah, just now having seen it, I'm, I'm glad I watched it. I thought it was really... 
It was really well done. Dylan McDermott was uh, awesome as he, he usually is. He was fucking is. scary as yeah. shit. He's good. He is he's scary as he's shit. Good. He's good. good. He's good in everything he does, though. Um, but there's definitely some complaints you can make about this movie. Like, they didn't bother me that much, but Annie pointed some of the stuff out to me and then reading up about it. Uh, I There's some people... How Okay, we're, we're going to get into spoilers here, too. So, you know, I don't know. Whatever. Like, you could put up a thing if you want, but I don't know how many people even know about this movie. I'm not going to put it up. Yeah. So, um, so yeah. We're just a warning. Just, verbal just warning, warning here. We're going to talk about spoilers. What did you think of the ending of the movie, or how did you interpret the end of the movie? Uh, the end of the movie was kind of interesting. Mm-hmm. But, uh, I mean, he looked like he was dead or near death because he was hit over the head. Uh, and it looked like they just dragged him out, make him look like he was camping, like he was cleaning his gun, and that he shot himself. Right. That's what they wanted it to look like. Yeah. yeah. And then we do get that clip of them showing the setup for it. Which I really loved how they did that in this movie, by the way. Twice. Yeah, yeah they did it twice. Yeah, yeah, I thought that was really cool. That was an interesting filmmaking choice. Um, but yeah, that's how I interpreted it, though. Like, they just what, shot okay. him. So, well, right. Okay, well, I guess I'm bringing this up because... I've read that some people kind of have an issue with the ending a little bit just because they think it's a little weird that he was all about, the son was all about like having his dad turn himself in and, you know, like he should turn himself in. And then the girl, I think her name was Cassie. Yeah, Cassie. Yeah. Uh, when everything was all said and done, you know, after the father tried to kill him, you know, and then they wrestle or whatever, then she hit him over the head with the lamp. And she hit him over the head again. Uh, she tries to call 911 and he stops her. Yeah. And I get it. Like, like I got it. When My takeaway from it, I was if, like, my takeaway from it was he didn't want to tarnish his dad's memory for his mom and sister. So yes. he wanted to keep that a secret. And that's fine. But I read some people think, so you're going to essentially hide your dad's secret and not let him pay for what he's done. And... It's like no justice for all the people that he killed. And then people also brought up about how it's like, and this Cassie girl's mom was killed by him. And even she's okay with him just not really getting his comeuppance. And I mean, I guess he does in the sense that they, uh, they kill him, but they also keep his secret. And so I didn't have that big of a problem with it, but when I've heard that explained hmm. to me, I'm kind of like, Hmm, kind yeah, of a good point. I guess I see that. It's like, you know, so basically it's like, fuck everybody else. Like, fuck everybody this person killed. And, you know, we're, we're going to keep it a secret. I'm going to protect my mom and sister. Uh, but I just think that, yeah, I've just heard some people say that it just doesn't feel like that that's doing justice to all the people that he did kill. It's like he's getting away with it. And then now they're almost accomplices because they know and they're keeping it a secret. So... It's a very good point. That didn't uh, affect, that didn't affect me in that I way. I didn't even think about that. For me, I just looked at it like, oh well, yeah. He just decided he doesn't want to tarnish his memory. He does like you know he's just going to keep that secret and live with that himself. I guess. Right. Uh, Which you know is fine, but I've read a lot of people take issue with how that ended and just. Thought, well, I think that's also kind of heavy too, because like he has oh, to now yeah. bear this secret by and, choice. But yeah. Yeah, by choice, but. It's it's almost like it, I don't know it, it's it's strange but like I mean she got Cassie got her justice because she's like you know dude's dead yeah I guess those other people don't really get to know who their killer was but yeah I, I didn't really think about it like that mm-hmm. I just more thought of saw it about face value really, too like okay yeah. you know he wants to carry this burden with him you know but he wants to make sure that his sister and you know his mom don't see that bad side of him I yeah guess. the stuff that's cut that that's hard too and it's kind of left up to interpretation is you just have to wonder like you know even after he like the dad like they're confronting him with the gun and then cassie sees the gun on the dresser or whatever and runs to go get it and then the dad like throws her into the wall after even after seeing that You know, you think he'd be pissed, even more pissed at his dad after doing something like that. But instead, his dad starts fast talking. And it's hard to tell, like, 
does the son is the son actually still in denial? Like, was he actually believing his dad and was still in denial? Or I wondered, or was this part of his plan to see if his dad would really try to kill him or something? Because the gun was empty. It had to be. It had to be that. I think it was part of the plan because otherwise. But it's kind of a. Why it, would the gun be empty? It's not. It's not. Well, with right, the intent to kill. Right. Unless you just wanted to threaten his dad, like he wanted his dad to turn himself in, and that's that. You know. So. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's why it's why it was empty. But the other the, the problem with that is though is how is that really a good plan? It's like I'm gonna let my dad take my gun away from me, and I know it's empty, and then I'm gonna fight him, and I'm not gonna know the like you don't know. Well, maybe he never. Of that. Maybe he just never expected that. Then maybe he didn't expect it. But that's what I was actually wondering. I was wondering if he let his dad take the gun to see if while hold to see if while holding it, what his dad would do, and his dad fired the gun, and, and he didn't know that it was empty, but. Um, yeah, I, I just think like some people have complaints about, like about that. Like the son was just, I don't know. Like, was he really that gullible or was he just playing stupid? It's hard to know. And then the other thing that you could argue about this movie too, that instead of making the choice that they did, and this is me, look, I enjoyed the movie. I'm Same. not knocking the yeah. movie. So, um, it's not that at all, but we're in spoilers in the Clovich killer, Mike. Yeah. Hi Mike. Um, it's not that at all, but <clears throat> when I read other reviews and Annie was talking to me about this too, I, I, I started thinking about it. And then one thing that I thought of on my own, not that no one else has thought of it, but this popped in my head on my own. So the movie starts off where the guy's, you know, with this girl in the, in the truck, in his dad's truck, and then he's about to get lucky basically. <laughs> and uh, she wants to pull the seat back. And when she reaches down to pull the seat back, she finds that picture, you know, that girl all gagged and stuff. And this essentially ruined his reputation. Like everyone heard about it and thought he was a pervert and he was a weirdo. So by the movie ending the way that it did and him keeping his dad's secret, everybody around him, all of his friends are still going to think he's a pervert weirdo because everyone thinks that that picture belongs to him. True, but I don't think he cares anymore after everything he's been through. I mean, I I guess, but it's just, I don't know. Like, you would think that that, like, now literally everybody's going to think that, what can he say? He's never going to get that off of him. He can oh, it was my dad. You know, but then they just honored his dad. So it's just, there's just some mm. weird storytelling choices, I guess. They made some weird mm. choices. I think you're kind of supposed to give that type of emotion watching this movie. Like, well, they wanted, it pisses, you, to they wanted you to piss, be pissed off at the same time. Yeah. Like, like, it's I'm a good not, movie. Yeah, it is a good movie. Like, I'm not, but I just think that there are some choices that they made that are, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Rick Rick decided he I decided not to. to put it up for whatever yeah. reason. I don't know why. I actually don't know why that was your choice. I don't know either. I don't care. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Um, Those weren't my own thoughts. Like, that. that's just, I read other people say that stuff, and I was like, huh, I didn't really think about it that way. So, I guess people kind of leave this movie where they interpret it in their own way, I suppose. I definitely yeah. read a lot of positive stuff. Like, that's not to say that everything's negative. I just, there's some people that are firmly over here and there's some people that are firmly over here. Yeah, I mean, I could definitely see those views too, but I, like, at least for my review, I liked the movie and I liked how they handled it. Mm-hmm. Like, I can't, it's kind of like him just handling... Like, I can see why he didn't want to tarnish his dad's name, you know? But at the same time, like, I do get what other people are saying. Right, you know, because it's just, I don't know. It's like he got off easy, but... Yeah. Anyways. I still love the movie, though. Oh, I, I thought the movie was really good, too. I'm but not but I love this conversation, though, because, yeah. like... It, I can't it even does take bring credit. Up... I can't take credit for it. I just think... Yeah, it's, like, it's I, I didn't I even saw. think about that. I just see, like, he, he like even though... No, no matter how, how bad, like how much he hates his father for what the things that he's done, like he still wants to. He still was ready to believe his dad. He's in denial, yeah. and I can understand that. I can get how people can. You just it's when you so badly don't want to believe that something is true. Exactly. Yeah. But like we both said, I could also see why people I can are see saying people the stuff that they're that. saying. So, anyways, I recommend to see the movie no matter what. Yeah, like, yeah, the movie's fucking great. Yeah, it was really good. And uh, the suspense was amazing. And it had to do with the act- amazing acting. Yeah, and just the movie had just like a tone and a vibe to it. Yeah. There was, like, I like no- the way it was shot. Well, was there like 
Except for that one song, like no music in the movie either, huh? I feel like it was no. Yeah, I think the movie just yeah. was all about. Oh, good. I'm glad you brought that up because yes, the composing, the 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 music composing, whoever did it was like fucking fantastic. Yeah, because it was just all atmosphere. Like it's I all like yes. Yeah. There's there's one song that I remember, you know, like a song with words, and then anything else, I don't know that I recollect hearing any other music. I think it was all just no. You're right. The you're absolutely right. I wanted to bring that up too, and I totally forgot. Yeah, uh, the music was amazing. Um, like I said, like it was shot nothing. really. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it was shot really nicely too. Uh, Charlie Plummer also fantastic acting in this mm-hmm. easily, and that uh, the girl who played Cassie too was great. Yeah. What else has Charlie, um, that Charlie guy been in? Uh, it wasn't much. Okay, because his I don't, maybe his name is just yeah. Because last time we talked, like I wondered if it was related to Christopher Plummer, but he that's wasn't. probably why I'm just thinking his name. But but yeah, he hasn't really been on anything else too big. Okay. Uh, oh shit, he's cast and looking for Alaska. Um, Interesting. They're in pre-production. Oh, uh, it's book? a book based on uh, one of the greens from YouTube. Oh, fuck. What green was it? Hold on. I want to find out what green. I think it's Hank Green. I was like, what, what do you mean? What's a green? John Green. Sorry, John Green. Gotcha. John Green said he would have liked to cast Taylor Swift in the film, but the casting is not up to him. <laughs> uh, sorry. That's looking for Alaska. Uh, that's a book I also wanted to read. I never got around to it. Might have to do it now, but I guess it's a TV show. Anyways, yeah, that dude is good. Yeah. Or that kid is good. And... um. Both of them were really good. Wait, go back real quick. I just saw something. To... No, like, back a page to his profile. Okay, never mind. I saw Michelle Williams and I thought I read something else. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so go watch it if you haven't. Whether you were here for the spoilers or not, I don't think it really matters because I feel like the trailer kind of tells you. Well... I don't think it tells you, but I don't think they try to, like, they, for a little bit... They, it amps the suspense. For a little bit, they, they probably want you to think, like, well, is the dad really Clove Hitch or, you know, like... Yeah. But then, at the same time, I don't think that's the point of the movie. Yeah. So, shall we move on? Yeah. All right. So, uh, now we have... Well, me, I guess I'm Mostly, going to review. Yeah, pretty much you. Uh, I went to the movies. I saw early screening of Spider-Man Into the Verse. Liked it a lot. Meaning just early in the morning. Not no, no, like time. I saw it last week. Oh, you did? Yeah. I saw it twice. Last week for the advanced screening. I don't think I knew you did that, or did I know that you did that? Uh, Probably. Did you? I felt like... But didn't you buy your ticket for Spider-Man like a week in advance too? Yeah, that was for Friday. So that's what I was thinking of. I don't think I knew you did that. Yeah, I saw it with... Did I see it with... Yeah, I saw it with Brian. Oh, you and Brian saw it. Yeah. Um... But yeah, I saw the advanced screening. Oh, yeah, I had no idea. And then I went to see it again. Because uh, it's that fucking good, people. If you like Spider-Man at all, go watch this. You have to go watch this. It's so good, dude. Like, um, if you see, we've watched the trailer here, so you kind of know what's going on. Like, uh, Wilson Fisk has a collider. He wants, what, The whole point of it, he's trying to get his, uh, his family back. Because they died in an accident, so he wants to open the universe to get his family back from another universe into his. Um, which causes an explosion, which happens, brings in all these other spider people along. We got Spider Gwen, Spider Ham, uh, Spider Noir, which is played by Nicolas Cage. He's fucking great. <laughs> um, the, uh, yeah, the movie's amazing. Like, Miles Morales is a story that. Uh, came about I think in the mid 2000s by Brian Michael Bendis and um, uh, it came out in the alternate uh, ultimate universe of the comic after uh, Spider-Man died Miles Morales pretty much take took on the persona of Spider-Man and uh, and yeah it's the movie's amazing uh, the animation for it is like you're watching a comic book come to life it's it's so good dude like if you've ever read a comic, it feels like you're what, like the comic book is coming to life. The way that it should, like, when you watch it, like it has those tiny pixel dots that you would see of ink, like you would on a comic book. Mm-hmm. Um, that's amazing. The 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 guy who do, or the kid that does the voice uh, is incredible, and is an incredible actor. While you're looking that up, uh, no Bolo, I think uh, 
it wasn't only out for one day. He, Rick just saw like an early. He saw it before it was out for some. Who was doing that and why? Um, no, no, it was. It was a one day thing. It was a Saturday. Oh, it's not. But it. It was, was a Saturday or Friday? No, it was Friday. Yeah, I think they what only was had a one day thing. I mean, the movie's in theaters now. Oh yeah, yeah, it's in yeah. theaters now. But when I saw the advance, that was saying. a one day thing. Right. Yeah, like yeah. So he saw that, but it's in theaters. He saw it a week later too. So yeah. you could still go see it. Yeah, it's uh, it's so good. Like who is all right? The three, two, sorry. one, action! Shit. I'm sorry. Who was doing the early screening thing? Just a few theaters were. Yeah, it was just only a few like theaters. Like AMC, or was it small uh, theaters? I think it was a Regal. Oh, okay. But uh, yeah, man, like the movie is so fucking good. Like I don't, I, like the acting in it is amazing. Like the voice acting, Haley. Steinfeld plays Gwen Stacy. Gwen Stacy. I just want to make sure I said her name right. And uh, Jake Johnson. I didn't like his voice as Spider Man um, when I first saw the trailer, mm. but after watching the movie, it kind of grew on me. Yeah. And uh, yeah. it just kind of made sense, especially with the Spider Man that he's playing. He's playing basically an older Spider Man, kind of like a schlubby type of Spider Man. Uh-huh. Like he's wearing sweatpants because his Spider Man suit doesn't really fit well. <laughs> Um, but, uh, the movie is basically everything you could ever ask for, for a comic book movie. The movie's perfect. I'm going to say it outright. The movie's fucking perfect. So you, man, you've gotten your Spider-Man fix this year. This year is a great year for Spider-Man. They have the video game, you know, you have uh, civil war or not civil war, um, infinity war. And now this movie, like, dude. Uh, um, doing this inside I am, I am, I really am. Uh, yeah, but Jake Johnson, uh, sh- I'm not gonna be able to say that dude's name. Shamil, Shamik Moore, Shamik Moore, Haley Steinfeld, all of them. I could like, be saying it wrong too, but yeah. that's how I'm saying it. Uh, they do it. Too. Yeah, they do a really good job. I, I'm hoping they do more of this. I, I, I mean, it would be stupid for them not to do more. Because of how well it's doing, I think it's like 99% on Rotten Tomatoes. Do you feel like th- this, like, do you feel like this movie is, is what it needs? Like, do you feel like this kind of, do you feel like I, anything live action is just not going to live up to something like Like, do you feel like this is how you want to see the Spider-Man story told at this point? Or do you, are you still interested in live action stuff? Because you seem really amped about this. Um, I'm still fine. I'm still always looking forward to live action. Okay. But for Miles Morales, like... We should have had a Miles Morales live action movie, you know, but we didn't for some reason. Like, like it sucks, but uh, the uh, the way this movie is, like, it's just they did it so well that, like, I would rather see it animated because you definitely could do a lot more, mm-hmm. you know, and uh, it's more open to possibilities to do a bunch of other stuff. Um, Spider-Man alone, his universe has so many different characters alone. You can make a whole, like it's been said many times, but I'd like for you, I don't know if you've heard it, but like he has so many, uh, his rogues gallery is really big mm-hmm. to the point where like you can make a ton of stuff alone in just Spider-Man's world because there's so much you can do. Um, there's a bunch of different types of Spider-Man as we know in this, like what we saw is only like a few of like many other Spider-Men that are out there and women. So they could go anywhere with this now, especially with the way that ended, they can go anywhere with this. Um, it's also refreshing too, because we've, everybody knows Peter Parker and they make that joke too in this movie. Like, Oh, Peter Parker. Well, let's start from the beginning, even though you already know my story, you know, and they make fun of that too. And with Miles Morales, Nobody knows really who he is. They don't know his backstory. Mm-hmm. Uh, the the com the most common people, I guess, won't know. Um, so it's a nice, refreshing take on the Spider-Man tale that people I think are really loving about it. No more Peter Parker. No more, you know, with great power comes great responsibility. Even though they do say that, they show that in the uh, in the movie, which I think is also the voiceover for that. It's also I think the great the person from the first Tobey Maguire Spider-Man mm. voiceover. At least I could be wrong, but it sounded like it, like it was the same actor. Um, 
But yeah, it, it's a good movie. It's a good fucking movie, dude. <laughs> um, okay, would you say it like, is it, is it better? Is this good for people like for it being like a gateway drug into Spider-Man or do you feel like, yes. it's, okay. So it's not something where you have to like be really knowledgeable about Spider-Man to really enjoy it. No, because like you can go in and not know nothing about Miles or even Spider-Man and you can kind of already guess. Like let's say if you watch the Toby movies and that was it. Like you kind of already know what the what you're getting into. Okay. Um, so like you, like you haven't seen any of the Spider ones, any of the Spider movies, right? It's not in full, no. Like I would, I would like you to watch this as your first Spider full Spider Man movie. I mean, I thought it looked cool in the trailer, like for sure. It's just yeah. I've just never Spider Man's never been anything I've gotten into. Um, is another reason why you well not this being a reason, but I mean that this strikes me as like. It's not like a cartoon that's like for for kid. You know how a lot of times I feel like the, the comic movie or the comic yeah, characters. Yeah, yeah. The cartoons are always very like for kids. You know, is this? Kind oh, of, there's some heavy shit in this. Well, that's what I mean. Yeah. So, so this is kind of more for. This feels like more like it's done. It's a cartoon, but done more on the tone of like how like the modern movies are. You know, like where it's not really necessarily yes. aimed at kids. It's like adults. Well, it's too. aimed for both. Well, obviously, you yeah. know, but like you can be. A, you're an eight-year-old and watching and still love the hell out of this movie. Yeah, oh, I'm sure. Um, but, but like, you're not going to be like a grown-ass adult and feel like you're watching a kids show or nah. cartoon necessarily. I know that's never what did. I think is yeah. you know yeah it's kind of yeah yeah. Um, oh fuck! I was gonna say something else and I lost my train of thought. Um, oh, the Easter eggs in this movie are all over the place, really? which is great. Um, I don't want to give anything away. I don't want this to be spoiler free, but um, uh, we do get um, a lot of things that you see from, like, I think, actually, you know, I think it was actually in the trailer, too, where you do see callbacks to, like, uh, the Toby movies, you know, where he's trying to stop the train. Um, he, when he talks about his history, he kind of talks about some of the history of, like, you know, they talked about his popsicle, which I think was in the trailer. Mm-hmm. You know, um, there's a lot of Easter eggs, Pizza! big or small. Oh, I missed that one. Sorry about that. Uh, who was that? Oh, Torsten. Thanks for the follow, man. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of little Easter eggs in there that you got to keep your eyes open. And like, I'm glad I watched it twice because there's some things I did miss. Okay. Um, the relationship between Miles and his dad was was great too uh, and his uncle is great too which i don't want to talk which i was kind of surprised well i guess i shouldn't say that but i lost was surprised when people were surprised about the twist with his uncle because i felt like it was common knowledge especially with spider-man homecoming but i guess it wasn't so i did hear a lot of gasp but uh i'll just say that um that would probably be me yeah uh, but also, I don't think they really hit it too well because it feels like it was kind of obvious. Or, or maybe it was just me. It could have been just so. me, yeah. Um, uh, Cheesy just brought up, yeah, there are uh, end scenes for this, which uh, were amazing. Um, I want to talk about it, but I don't want to spoil it, like I said. Um, uh, you could put on spoilers. I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to. I, I, I'd rather just not. All right. You can if you want to, though. Yeah, the game had the train stopping Easter egg. That was fucking hilarious. Yeah, I like that. Well, um, it was a good movie. I, I highly recommend people, especially if you don't really know much about Spider-Man, to go into this movie because, like, the best thing about this movie is, my, like, Miles Morales. Like, he he does a really good job. Um, I, I want to, I can't pick, I can't find something I didn't like about this movie. I really can't. Well, then don't. Like, I, I mean, I always. That doesn't mark the, the quality of a review if you find something wrong. Like, if you don't have, like, don't search for something wrong. I'm not necessarily searching for something. I just, like, you know, usually I can, I mean, if I really wanted to nitpick, I could. But I, I can't because, like, this, as a, as a Marvel kid growing up, like, this is awesome. Well, it's such a good movie. Then don't. Then then just Maybe when Mike sees it, we'll get into spoilers on another episode. But um, as far as they say, go watch the movie, man. It's so good. I would go see it again. If you want to go see it, I'll go see it with you. <laughs> okay. 
because I will be willing to watch it again. All right. I don't know. That's all I can say. Okay. What else? Um, Cheesy got? obviously liked it too. So that's good. Yeah, I want to talk about that last end scene, but I can't. You can. I know I can, but I, I have want to, to pee. No, that's all right. All right. That's all I got um, as far as the Spider Man goes. Okay. What else? That's all I got for movies. Okay, so what else? Video what games? Else? I mean, I don't have anything to contribute, but you can talk if you want to talk. Okay. You didn't play? Oh, that's right. You haven't played anything. I haven't anything. played anything. Um, I started playing Curse of Osiris on Destiny. Do you feel like you need me to talk to you, or could you talk to them while I go pee? I could talk to them. Go pee. All right. I'm going to go pee. Or just ask me questions. I don't know. <laughs> We're getting up to, to towards the end. Uh, yeah, I started playing Curse of Osiris. Uh, actually, I finished Curse of Osiris, I should say, for Destiny 2. Um, it was a lot of fun. The last boss battle felt like a like a, like a strike. Um, like a solo strike. Because uh, it was pretty heavy. Especially playing by yourself. <laughs> um... Uh, Curse of Osiris was good. Uh, it was really good. Or maybe it was the raid I'm trying to think of. Um, yeah, the story of it is pretty good. Um, your ghost gets inhabited by uh, Osiris's ghost. So it's not you're not playing with Nolan North. You're playing with whoever. I'm not sure who she is, but she does the voice of your... She basically merges with your ghost. And she's the one helping you, trying to uh, find um, Osiris. And uh, it was good. I thought the story was great. Um, uh, I still, yeah, I'm at level, I think, or I'm at uh, 312 or 310. I don't remember. But uh, the next thing I have, I believe, is Mars. Like the ice, what is it, the ice and fire on Mars? That's the next thing I got to do. But, uh I recommend. I mean, if you have it, I recommend you play it. If you have Crystal Osiris, uh, cheesy, because uh, it's fun. Um, I definitely enjoyed it. Um, I do miss. I, I I feel like I'm back into the Destiny game now, especially after playing this, because I do want to. I do want to. <laughs> uh, I want to do some more strikes. You know, it's just I forgot how fun that game is. I get that, man. There's definitely other things you can be playing, too. Like, there are other things people are playing. But I just had a lot of fun with it. Um, it was, a nice, it was like, kind of refreshing after everything else I've been playing. Like, Spider-Man and Pokemon. You held it down. I'm proud yeah. of you. I, did, I, I just, I don't know. I, just, I, mean, I was like, <laughs> I can't wait. So, um, have you just been taking questions, or did you talk about No, I talked stuff? about it. No, I talked about Curse of Osiris, which was uh, a lot of fun. Nolan North goes away, and you get Osiris's ghost mm. into your ghost. So it's like it's a woman. Oh, cool! And uh, it's it's pretty cool. I Still hate have to be Destiny, sp- man. Uh, I just never. I don't know. I had fun playing with with you. With like, you guys. Play with me. I just I'm <laughs> just not that into the game. Like I don't know. Um. Yeah. I don't know. Like, that's that's all we got. <laughs> I probably totally could have waited to pee then, yeah. but it's fine. All right, so that's the show then? Yeah, that's the show. Okay, so uh, for you guys chatting with us live, chatting with Rick while I was gone in the chat, uh, we appreciate you joining us and watching us live. Uh, if you yeah. missed us live. Thanks, then... Cheesy. Thanks, Bolo. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> and then, th- I don't remember. But Lord. <laughs> but Lord, and then whoever uh, followed us. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh, yeah. What was it? I'll pull it up right now. Rick's got it. But anyways, if you uh, if you joined us live or were able to join us live, thank you for keeping tabs on us on social media. Uh, if you're listening to the audio of this or watching the full show uh, on YouTube, then uh, you could follow us on social media too and maybe be able to catch us do the show live. Uh, otherwise, uh, if you're listening to the audio, however you're consuming the show, thank you. Uh, if you uh, know about the clips and watch the clips throughout the week, Again, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, there'll be clips. There'll be two on Thursday. Uh, and yeah, that, that's how you can consume the show if you don't want to uh, Torsten. watch the full video. Torsten. Torsten. Thanks for the follow. Yeah. And yeah, they already gave the spiel. So follow us on social media. Thanks for listening to us on podcast services. So until next time. That was some shit we like.